Yo, what's up everybody, how's it going and welcome to the world of Dota Fish Market, where today we are playing Tide Hunter, reimagined by Panda Life in a very bizarre way. So, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right into the game. Friends, we got ourselves a Tide Hunter and we're gonna be hunting the tides. Or do we get hunted by the tides? Do we hunt within the tides? I'm guessing that's the one, right? We don't hunt tides, we hunt from within the tides. Anyway, we're playing Tide Hunter. Probably going for the int path? I don't know, I just haven't really played the int path before, so it seems fun. Let's do it. Let's be int Tide Hunter. Although, this upgrade doesn't really help us right now, because uh, we're still gonna get uh, the early um, anchor smash, right? Because uh, we're not stupid. Anyway, let's check for some uh, differences to normal Dota. It's always important to just keep an eye on that. This seems pretty normal. This damage block seems much lower. Uh, Anchor Smash cooldown. Damage reduction is lower, I think. But cooldown, all of that seems fine. Hello, friends. Yeah, you guys just have a good time. Honestly, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying yourself. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, don't hit me. Hit this. Fuck, I didn't know that that would trigger. <laughs> Look, it's not super clear when this counts as an attack and when it doesn't. So it's unfortunate that it hit uh, the golden creep. Otherwise, I could have timed that better. Oh, well. So anyway. <clears throat> uh, yeah, no, we're just going to go ahead and go for Int Tight Hunter. See what we can do with it. I mean, there are some fun options available for us. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So, scary. Problem. Hmm. What do about this? We obviously all want that red creep. I don't think you can win this. I mean, you have essence shift, right? But it's like not actually that strong just yet. Is it? Fuck, I'm losing, aren't I? Oh, I'm losing. Yeah, well, it is how it is, right? Okay. We gotta pick something up. I'll probably just get face boots first. That seems fine. Uh, where was my creep? It was on the other side, right? Do I want to contest that? Ooh, that seems difficult. But nobody's going for it just yet. But there is a slog around, and I am honestly incapable of fighting the slog. I mean, we just tested that. <laughs> We did just try that one, and it didn't work out. So that's a bit unfortunate. Alright, take these. Thank you very much. We'll get ourselves the face boots, and then with the face boots we can go a little bit nuts. Can I tell you a little dilemma that I'm having right now regarding like how I'm working on stories of Dota? Because I'm working on the Earthshaker video. And I have, at this point, watched all of the TIs so many times. I, if, I've watched them so goddamn many times. Like, I can recite the TIs in my sleep. It is, it's excessive, frankly speaking. And uh, I've kind of gotten to the point where I can just already make an incredibly accurate judgment call on like a hero's performance just by looking at their statistics and um, their um, patch history. I don't even need to watch the games anymore. And when I say that, what I mean is like, I usually do that. Like I usually look at all of the statistics ahead of time and I uh, look at their patch history and then kind of like make myself a picture of what I expect. And I've noticed that at first, at first, when I started, oftentimes I was wrong. But by now, I'm pretty much always just on point. So, what I used to do is I used to just watch a shit ton of games for every hero. Like, for the IO video, I watched like 70 Dota games. And right now with Tidehunter, not Tidehunter, sorry, with, right now with uh, Earthshaker, Honestly, I'm just kind of like, I watched like four games of TI3 and by watched I meant I put it on two times speed and skipped through it to make sure that everything went as I expected. And then I uh, 
went and I uh, just looked at all of the statistics for all of the games that he had and made sure none of them are outliers in any way and everything looks exactly as expected. And then I wrote my tax text based on that. And now I'm wondering, is that cheating? Am I not doing it properly anymore? Because I feel like... I feel like... I have seen this shit so many times by now that I feel like at a certain point I should just be able to kind of make these judgment calls, make these, make these, uh, you know, like analyze stuff pretty free form without necessarily needing a huge amount of research for all of them. But it feels like I'm not doing it properly. Does that make any sense? Like where my kind of issue comes from? I need mana. Uh, we also need cast range, so let's just get ourselves an Ephalums right away. Let's get ourselves an Ephalums. That seems like a good one. It's a lot of mana, and it's some cast range. We need cast range for something later. Uh, Gush is AoE now. It's You get it. You get it. It's not that complicated, right? We now have the Aghanim Scepter effect, so now our Gush is actually a usable ability. Did you find the Lincoln's video? Oh no, I haven't found that yet. I have not. I look for it some other time. Like, it's like one of those things that I'm postponing until I'm doing my review after I've written the full video. Because sometimes what I'll do is I'll just kind of write down, I need a video clip of this. Like, I know it exists. I haven't found the video clip yet, but I know it exists. I'm gonna need it later. And then I go look for it later. Oh, look at us. We somehow made it to number two in net worth. Let's get ourselves Royal Jelly. Uh, broom handle. Oh, that's good. Spark of Courage. That seems good. <sighs> Phantom Assassin. This is an Int Assassin. Yeah, I don't have much faith. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I'm not a believer. I'm not a believer in the Int Assassin. But yeah, that's just kind of like the situation I'm finding myself in. And I, I gotta say, like, it kind of, like, logically makes sense, right? Like, after you've seen the shit too many times, after I already have watched the exact games I would need to watch and I've already done analysis on all of them, like, I would just look at my notes, review my notes, and then be able to write based on that. And then afterwards, I just go and I make sure that my analysis is correct. And if I find any outliers, then I write that down as well. But... You know, if I don't, then I just leave it at that. That's fine, right? Like, that's not cheating. That's not That's not being lazy. I don't know. I feel like I'm being lazy. <laughs> please, uh, please confirm. Please confirm. Thank you. Uh, let me get some spell damage here. Kraken Shell becomes an active ability. The hero's accelerating cannot be slowed down. You cannot attack. So we're going to be using that. We're not really going to be attacking that much. Can we get cast range somehow? Is there anything here that gives us cast range? No. We just need to actually get cast range. Oh, well. There we go. <clears throat> oh, hello. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. <laughs> Having a great old time right here. Now I have to spend forever respawning because I had, like, top network. Oh, what a bunch of nonsense. Alright, we're just gonna respawn on Ravage. And then dip. <laughs> I'm just gonna respawn Ravage and get out of there. No, you, you don't get to complain about that. That's exactly what you just did to me. So we just kind of, you know, go in a circle. Because, like, honestly, I feel like that was, like, a part of the reason why I was having a bit of a hard time working on the videos for a bit. Because I felt like I had to go and watch all of these games over and over again, even though I'm like, I already know what happens in them. I have literally seen this game before. I thought, it's not that I have seen other games in this tournament. It's that I have seen this specific game before. <laughs> Damn it. I creep uh, refusing to miss. This isn't going to get there in time, is it? Right, it doesn't seem like Phantom Assassin is coming over here, though. So that's good. I can't kill this. 
Mm, that's a shame. I hope she doesn't get there. I need to heal up for a moment. Honey, I've made dinner. We're having a cat in a blanket. Also, please leave a thumbs up on the video. I would really appreciate it. I don't want to spend too much time heating up. I want to see if I can still get this creep. Did she get it? She did, but I should be able to kill her. No idea where she's at, but we can just ravage, right? Yeah. Still don't know where she's at, but, you know, she's dead. <laughs> Still no idea where she is. Okay. 1% spell damage. I had a job they had to listen to calls to prevent fraud. After a while, I would come with a verdict within 3 minutes of a 30 minutes call. I feel like, yeah, you just kind of get used to stuff, right? I think that's just kind of normal. Haha, <laughs> I'm hasted, nerd. Uh, let's get more spell damage. Do I get this guy? He slept over there. Oh, shit, he's full HP. Never mind, we're leaving. Ooh, that hurts, though. Those do some serious damage. Okay. We don't want these. Well, these stats icons need a minimap. They indicate how much of each, like, how much of each thing you have already leveled. So I have nine points of... Well, it's wrong. It's wrong. It, it is wrong. It doesn't indicate shit because it's just wrong. <laughs> don't listen to what it says. <laughs> you can't trust it. Alright, I like how that uh, makes us swim backwards. Because it's saying we have 9 points of int and we... Uh, sorry, 9 points of agility and we don't have 9 points of agility. Run, 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 run. Fuck. I mean, that was gonna happen. I was just hoping it wouldn't. Fuck. I'm dead. Damn it. Took so long as well. That's the worst part. It was such a long chase. I should have just died earlier. Alright, so we have the Aether Lens, which is a good item. Um, what else are we building? We can't really use, like, Kanda, right? Because it's not a single target ability. It would actually be better if it was a single target ability. Uh, I guess Octarine Core. I feel like Octarine Core is actually really important with this build. I feel like I'm always running low on cooldowns. It is mirrored. Yeah, it is mirrored, but it's still wrong, right? Because, like, this right here should say 9, not this, and this should say 9. So, like, it is mirrored, but also wrong. Regardless of if it's mirrored. Oh. Yeah, we'll probably just kind of get out. Um, get this. Just get Octarine Core. I'm not really sure what to buy. I feel like we want an E-Blade eventually. And we definitely want an Octarine Core eventually. Like, that is a must-buy here. Also, I'm very good at the video game. Um, but that is a must-buy. So, increases gush damage by three for every five distance between the enemy, between the hero and the enemy. So the further away we are from our target, the more damage we deal. This is good. It's quite good. Look at that, 900 damage. That's also why I got that Ephalance. Although, unfortunately, we will not be able to actually make the distance that far. Because we just, there just aren't really that many cost range increasing things. Do we care about any of this? Yeah, you know what? The Gossamer Cape is actually probably better than what we got. Terror Blade versus the Lion. Go get him, Lion. Go get him. <clears throat> I once had a position where I had to judge ban-worthy behavior in Dota games. After some time, I lost faith in humanity and banned everybody. Fell story. Well, if that was a real story, though, then I think you really just... Oh, my God. Why did I gamble on you? Why do you do this to me? 
You know I believed in you. <laughs> if only if only you had some sort of instant disable that quickly could deal with whoever you're going for. <sighs> All right, sorry, but you had to, uh, you know, you would have just had to ban everybody in Dota. I think, like, playing Dota itself is ban-worthy ban behavior. Like, just don't even... <laughs> don't even start. Stay away. <laughs> this is nice. This does so much damage, actually. It's crazy. Oh, this is dead. All right. Casual 900 damage nuke. What happened to the talk about League? Oh, you mean a stories of League of Legends? And that's kind of on pause right now. Like, I don't know. I just... Well, let me just be completely honest with you. Um, I'm not really feeling comfortable making the monetary investment at the moment. I think I have two YouTube channels right now. One of which is working pretty well. And another one which is working not. I'm going to leave it up to you to decide which one is which. No, the stories of Dota one is the one that's working pretty well. The other one, uh, the one that we're on right here, is kind of working okay-ish? I don't know. And the thing is, if I want to start an entirely new YouTube channel, I want to start something like Stories of League of Legends, it would cost a lot of money. And um, then the question is, you know, like, am I what... Oh, fuck. Okay, good. We've got Octarine Core. We're going to just get credit. I'm just going to get credit, right? Fuck. We're dead. We're not dead, but we're also not in great shape. We're dead. Alright, I like that we can use this to just swim away. No! <laughs> Straka knew I had to get out of here somewhere. So, what I want to do right now is instead of starting an entirely new channel, I would rather take the Balmy channel that we're on right now and see if I can find a way to make it work better, right? And if I can, then we can maybe figure out stories of Dota, uh, stories of League of Legends. And if I can't, then we've got a problem. <laughs> well, we'll, you see what I mean? I just don't want to stretch myself too thin. That's it. There's no rush with stories of League of Legends. There's no rush at all. Oh, wait, no, we get more cast range. We get more cast range per int. Huh? Ah, oh, very good. So if we become smart, we get extra cast range. Ooh. Gotta run. I gotta get E-Blade here. I feel like it's really good in this game. Oh. Well... I wanted both, but I guess I'll take one of them. Alright, let's get more of this. More cost range. But I hope that makes some sense, right? It's just... Gotta do one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Oh, we're learning League. Oh, I will be learning League on the side. Like, I am gonna do that in the meantime. But... I'm not going to start the channel. Like, I'm going to, like, watch TI. Not TI. What's it called? Worlds and all of that. Ah. Gotta get out of here. Take these. Uh, Ghost Scepter is nice. Definitely need that. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Holy fuck. Is he dead? No, no, he healed. He didn't. He wasn't moving. Ah. I was hoping to snipe it. 
Time to get on out of here. Why is this guy not taking damage? I mean, it hit, right? Fuck. I'm just giving other people kills. Alright, gotta get out of here. Facing the Fusal Blade again. That's just the game mode. Everybody always buys the Fusal Blade. But it doesn't really bother me as much if I'm playing an in Interior. Because Interiors usually have ways of dealing with it. Like, as an Interior, you tend to be fine. The problem is just if you're playing um, a Strength Hero. Because Strength Heroes, they really struggle. So, as long as we can just... Oh, did you steal my creep? Right, I gotta get out of here. You chasing me? Alright. Got one kill. I think, I think I'm happy with that. That seems good. Don't like these. Let's just get gold. All right. Got the Phantom Assassin versus an Omni Knight. Int Assassin versus Agility Omni Knight? I'm a little confused. Uh, I'm guessing Omni Knight. I don't know. I have no idea how these work, actually. <laughs> no idea. All right. We got to get ourselves the Gush Slow Increase. But I also need the Cooldown Reduction. I need so many here. It's actually crazy. I need so many upgrades on this level. All right, int, 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 int. How are we getting int? Well, uh, we are definitely getting a Yules, right? That's like an always item. Should probably get like a Rod of Atos upgrade. This right here, Atos Storm. It's like another nice disable. Hmm. Blink Dagger, maybe. Hex, maybe. I don't know. All right. Gush reduces healing. We need just one point into this so we can get um, the double, the, the uh, like capstone talent here. Meteor Hammer thing. Oh, we already have E Blade. The Meteor Hammer thing is an E Finance upgrade, and uh, I think E Blade is just better in this game. Spell crit. Spell crit would be damage. I don't know if we need more damage. Probably a good idea, though, actually. Like, this does a lot. This does a lot. I like spell crit. Let's get an edge of this cord. Because it's also a bunch of int, and we do need int. And we do definitely have an inventory slot, right? Because we're getting... We're getting yours. We're getting... Um, something else. I forget. But we're getting something else. And then... Oh, yeah. The Rod of Atos thing. And then we probably want to get rid of boots. Blink is better against Nullifier. Mm, I think we'll be okay. We'll see. Gotta keep in mind that we are also Tidehunter, who is just naturally a bit more capable of taking hits. Nearly. Got him. Nice. Okay, a cooldown reduction. So what are we looking at in terms of cooldowns? 5.9. Not too bad. Not crazy good either. Can we one-shot? Uh, with a crit, we might be able to, honestly. It's not enough, though. Oh, 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 somebody's getting scared. Oh, that's disappointing. All right. Let's get more int. All right, Slark is back to back to full HP. I can't kill from there. Like that's too much. That's I mean, maybe Ravage and another Oh, that's so close. Shit. 
Got him. Nice. That's really valuable. And now we've got our Gush here. Oh, I got so many points for that. <laughs> Alright, so we've got two charges of Gush now. <laughs> well, that sure does the trick, doesn't it? Wait, where did he go? Oh, fuck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, we got him. We got him. So, next up, I think we'll just get yours. Gotta be it, right? Oh, gosh, is impressive. The knockback does help a ton as well. Oh, it's so bad against creeps. E-Blade just doesn't do anything against them. All right, hello. I mean, nearly. Got him, right? Whoo! Sick. Who's next? <laughs> Oh, I'm being hunted now. So I'm next, I guess. Well, that's not too good. I do have to say, I, I am enjoying the edge of this court. I think that was a good choice. Oh, haha, I see, I see, I see. So I can't hide. Oh, no reincarnation? That was greedy then, wasn't it? Sorry, I have to sneeze. Would have expected the um, Wraith King to be able to reincarnate if he's going to go for me. <clears throat> no, guys, we want more int. Int, int, int. Int is key because int gives us spell amp. And it gives us cast range, which is also more damage. Alright, there's a reincarnation. So we just kind of wait now. Oh, I'm out of wards. Whew! Uh, we've got 18 seconds. Mm hmm Up you go. <laughs> oh, it's just kind of filthy. Okay, I think we're done in Int, right? We don't need anything else here. Maybe debuff duration is alright. I'm not, like, super convinced we care about debuff duration. We've got Divine. That's kind of funny. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Um, we could go into... Strength. Each attack on the hero has a chance to create a Ravage Tentacle. That seems so good for us, actually. Right? Ah, this gotta be it. Yeah, we definitely go into strength. Also, we can get some... Some oil stats there, which is nice. Okay, Wraith King. We'll be close, but you got there. Nice. Alright, sell this, sell this. <sighs> Turns out Tidehunter is good. Who, who could have who could have known? <laughs> I did just random him. I did just random him. <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing there. 
Nothing there. Ah, ha, ha. We found something. Something actually worth going for. Not here. I guess we'll take it. So here's everybody. I mean, like, I'm ahead right now, so I don't really get that much value out of farming creeps. In case you don't know the bounty of creeps, it varies depending on your net worth. If you're ahead, your creeps are worth less money. Or creeps that you kill are worth less money. So, like, yeah, we can build a lead by farming, but we're not really the best farmer. So, it's not actually going to be that effective for us to do so. Okay, we'll level up this. And no clue about that. Yeah, this mode is a bit obtu ob obtuse in terms of like its general mechanics. But it tries very hard to keep everybody at about the same power level. And it does so very actively. Right? So any progression in this game is actually a lie. Should I even tell you this? Like, you can have a lead, but your lead can never be too big. The game will literally stop you. And you can be behind, but you can never be too far behind. Because you will just get so much free money from killing creeps. Does that shatter the illusion? Alright, we've got Wind Waker. Woo! Got a little froggy. Okay, um, health, strength. I mean, strength is better than health, unless we go all the way down there, but we're never getting there, right? Not enough points for it. So strength is better. It's just actually more health. Man, we really suck at killing creeps. <laughs> It's just not, not our strongest suit. Oh, maybe a Shiva's Guard is actually a good idea. Oh, we should definitely get a Shiva's Guard, right? Yeah, why didn't I think of that earlier? That seems stupid. Oh, silence, I don't like it. Uh -huh, we are hiding. Maybe not too far away, though. Oh, no. So this is a problem. But we got him. Ow! Alright, so now we have uh, the extra tentacle here. Whenever they attack us, we stun them. It's good. It's actually a very good effect. It's nice that we can get there even on the end path. Oh man, we suck so much at killing creeps. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I had a different item build or something, but this just isn't it. It's okay. We'll just kill heroes. Assuming we can find him. Oh, I found somebody. See? It's all fine. Not a problem. And come over here. We level up our... This now this has a 50% chance of triggering. Gonna get to the 75% in the moment. Although, is that even necessary? Probably is, right? We want that triggering as often as possible. Okay. I 
mean, creeps aren't really doing that much for us anymore. Maybe I can find a hero. I, mean, I don't know where they are. They're going to be somewhere around, right? Ah, found somebody. No crit. That's a shame. Ravage. Maybe? Ah. Uh, I don't know if that didn't hit. Probably didn't, though. Would be my guess that it just didn't hit. Ah, no crit. Oh, ghost. All right. So we currently don't have enough damage. Do I care about any of these? Slark versus Terrorblade. I'm going to say Terrorblade. Um, do I care about any of these? This is bad, right? It's mostly physical damage we're going up against. Everybody else, everybody that's left is an agility build. This kind of does nothing. I don't know, does it? Actually seems alright, because they burn mana. So while we stole, they might be able to like... Burn the mana pool of these heroes. This actually seems alright. We'll try it. Because they do have a little bit of mana burn, right? Mana break, 50. Interesting. I like how this tooltip, by the way, is better than the one in actual Dota. <laughs> this tooltip actually explains what the item does. Alright, nothing here. Oh, hello. Oh, he dodged both. Well, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? All right. I mean, these guys really do nothing. So it's just going to be five minutes of everybody running away from me. Because if so, I'm not looking forward to it. Stark over there. Stark did end up winning that fight. Yeah, it feels like we're just looking at five minutes of everybody running away from us. Alright. Okay. Wait, how do I kill you? Oh, I did kill you. Okay. Sorry, I need to read what this does. When receiving lethal damage, the hero receives a strong dismount and turns into a spirit. Gains immunity to negative effects and unobstructed vision. Blah, blah, blah. When the effect ends, the hero dies. Okay, so it's just like... It's, it's fine, right? There's just like a little bit of invulnerability, but I can kill him just fine. Because I was worried we wouldn't be able to kill him. Alright. Got 3,000 gold and I don't really know what to do with it. And we could upgrade boots. What's our next item here? Hmm. I'm open to suggestions. Sell boots. I don't know. I feel like boots are actually really nice for us. 
we want to run away from people. Like, we might even want to upgrade boots into, like, we wanna, might, might want to get... I <laughs> might want to get the TP boots. They give you a huge amount of movement speed. Or we could uh, upgrade the face boots. I feel like movement speed is really important for us. Alright, come here. Yeah, we're really not very good at killing this, but... We'll get there eventually. Blink? I don't know what Blink does, really. What's our biggest worry? Nullifier? So Nullifier is the biggest problem, right? You get Lincolns, but they have the Fusal Blade. Is there a way to deal with Nullifier? I mean, somehow I'm top net worth. Not entirely sure how. I'm not really farming that well, but I guess we'll take. Because we'll take it. I was expecting to have to fight a duel. Oh, I found somebody. I found two people. Oh, which one do I go for? Oh, I missed. That's bad. Oh, man. Okay, that's on me. I probably should have won this fight. I mean, I, I think I will actually still win this fight. Alright, that's one kill. Oh, that's it. That's fine. That's all I needed. <laughs> Alright, so we're probably fine. We're probably not going to have to fight. Uh, I'm gonna say the Slark wins. Slark has Nullifier. I can get Woodland Striders. I actually don't like these. I think they're kind of useless. Um, Woodland Striders. We sell this. I've got 10,000 gold. Lincolns. Heaven's Shield. Heaven's Shield does make sense. Let's see, maybe the Wraith King somehow pulls it off. I just don't really think so. Slark is really hard to deal with in these kinds of one versus one situations. Admittedly, so is Wraith King, but Slark is just feel like it's another level above, you know? Hmm. So there's a Mage Destroyer as well. Alright, so Slark wins. I mean, I guess it's gotta be a Heaven's Shield, right? Heaven's Shield and probably just... get Moon Yasha for extra movement speed. Arguably, we could have gotten the extra spell amp, but I feel like movement speed is just more important here. Mm hmm Alright, so that did no damage. That's maybe a problem. Key. I don't want to stall. I'm not I'm not somebody who enjoys stalling. Oh, that's annoying though. Do need vision. But 
But I think I might actually not do enough damage here, really. Yeah, I'm also just kind of like having a lot of my hits blocked. Which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I think we win, but in a very annoying, unfortunate way. Like, I'm, I'm not particularly proud of this win, I'm gonna be honest, but we'll take it. I think our damage output just isn't really high enough. Like, even if I get the crits, the Slark just heals too much. Have you given up? Hello? <laughs> Oh, it disconnected. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll count that as a win. <laughs> I do think we could have just pulled off what I just did anyway. Right? Like, I think we would have won that no matter what. Because as much as I can't really kill him, he can't really get close enough to me. Um, But yeah, the Slark just has way too much magic resistance. 70% magic resistance. Yeah, that's hard to get through, right? Like, how do you kill somebody through that? I I am just trying to kill this literally disconnected slog, and my damage output is not really getting there. <laughs> so, you know, I, I did try. Oh, come on. Ravage? We can do this. I do no damage. Oh man, I, I couldn't kill a disconnected slog. That's not to say that we would have lost. I think we would have easily won. Oh. I also feel like that disconnect was more of a concession, right? Anyway, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.